Um, here, what you're looking at is a video of macrophages that have been um, uh, given yeast uh, to play with. And what you can see is the macrophages will move towards the yeast uh, and then engulf them. So here one is moving directly towards it and then engulfs it. Uh, here's another uh, yeast uh, that's here, which will eventually be attacked and, and eaten by another macrophage, shown right there. Uh, so in much the same way that Mechnikov uh, found, uh, these invading uh, microorganisms uh, were uh, activated uh, the macrophage, uh, turned it on, uh, increased its capacity for uh, migration, its capacity for cytotoxic killing, and as shown here, uh, its capacity uh, for actually killing and, and eating uh, the invading microorganisms. This is a, another movie showing that these um, a process of phagocytosis of uh, these um, uh, uh, yeast, or in fact any other large particle that a macrophage encounters, is intimately associated with the ability of um, uh, the macrophage to polymerize um, actin um, as a motile cytoskeletal component directly underneath where the particle uh, binds uh, and turns on the cell. Um, growing out long pseudopods that then engulf um, the particle, uh, capturing it and bringing it inside the cell, and eventually getting it diffused with lysosomes, again shown here. So what you're looking at um, in this particular video uh, is a, um, a particle um, that is entering uh, a macrophage whose surface is stained green, and shortly after internalization, this green membrane turns red as a consequence of fusing uh, with these red uh, endocytic vesicles that are found uh, inside of the macrophage. Again, uh, showing with very, very high-tech components what Mechnikov you knew uh, over 100 years ago, uh, which is that macrophages can bind, can detect, can bind, internalize, and to deliver to lysosomes for purposes of degradation um, those uh, um, incoming uh, bacteria and other sorts of pathogens that are found in the outside world against which we need protection.